My name is Harry Phillips from the Bermondsey Neighbourhood Forum and I'm going to talk a little bit about the uh, context, the rich and varied and diverse and interesting context of Bermondsey. Um, I'm going to start by talking about some of the history. The history of Bermondsey goes right the way back to Roman times and if you look back at historic maps you can see that Watling Street which was the major Roman road that linked up the ports of Dover with central England um, actually came right the way through Bermondsey and, Borough, um, and, and is what is now Borough High Street and came across what is now London Bridge into the city of London and that that bridge remained the uh, only route into the city of London from south of the river until well into the 18th century. The, um, that's formed a lot of the richness and, and context of um, of Bermondsey and Borough High Street um, as a result of that uh, road system has become um, uh, a path of uh, travellers inns and um, uh, a route for people coming into London. <clears throat> um, there's some very interesting links to uh, literature in, in within, the, within Bermondsey. So we know Charles Dickens lived just off Borough High Street. His uh, parents and family were imprisoned in Marshall C. Debtor's Prison, um, which is just to the east of Bermondsey. And many of his books were, um, were, were based around Bermondsey and, and borough landmarks. Hence, uh, hence we have Chaucer Ward, hence we have Little Dorrit Park. Um, we also have a strong relationship to Chaucer. Um, in the Canterbury Tales, the, um, the pilgrims meet up at the Tavard Inn and actually um, go to, to, to Canterbury along Tavard Street. As Bermondsey developed in the 19th century, it became an area of industry. A lot of the um, uh, noxious and smelly and foul industries that weren't permitted in the city of London um, naturally relocated south of the river in Borough um, in close connection with the docks of course and um, there were many sort of strands to that industry um, the leather trade developed very early on um, because of the um, noxious nature and you can see um, elements of that tanning industry and leather industry uh, in the names of the streets in the leather exchange in leather market street um, another industry that grew up uh, was closely connected with the area was the brewing trade um, and that was strongly associated with the travellers inns that, that, that extended along Borough High Street so hops that were grown in Kent would be brought straight into London Bridge Station they would be stored in warehouses around uh, London Bridge Station and then they would go straight into breweries and straight into the inns that, that lined Borough High Street. So we have the Courage Breweries, for example. And if you look at historic maps, you can see you can see that the very close relationship between the hot warehouses, the breweries, and, and those public houses. Latterly, towards the beginning of the 20th century, uh, Bermondsey and Borough became known as the Larder of London. Um, again, this was closely related to the, the docks. So the docks would bring in um, uh, food produce from the colonies, from overseas, and that would go into um, into products like uh, Sarsen's vinegar, like um, uh, like Hartley's jam. So a lot of these well-known um, well-known companies, Cross and Blackwell, a lot of these well-known uh, food manufacturers, British food manufacturers, were located. In, in this area. Typically if, um, if you were growing up in the early 20th, early 20th century uh, it would be typical that for example your father might go and live, uh, might go and work in the inner docks, perhaps your mother would go and work in some of those um, food factories. <clears throat>